Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is John and in this video you'll learn how to create a minimalist logo using Figma. Right, so for this episode we'll stick uh, with a super minimalist theme. We'll go on Pinterest, you know, do some research about the brand that we want to design and the style that we want to design in. Then we'll jump in Figma. Figma is a free software which I've explained before in a previous video super easy to use can be used in a browser or you can download the software and the only reason i'm doing a tutorial on this software is just because it's accessible to all of you guys if you're a business owner or a beginner designer you can use it so for the brand that we're doing in this video we'll, we'll be using i made that brand um and i literally came up with this a second ago we will do a brand for a sustainable Kendama company, a brand that we will make up. If you don't know, Kendama is a Japanese toy which helps with your hand-eye coordination and the goal is to put the ball on each cup and at the end spike it and you can get real creative with this. Um, it's a cool culture toy and I just think, you know, a little sustainable brand around this toy um, will just make for a really, really cool brand. So to get started, I will open up Pinterest. Let me just quickly switch this. There we go. Here we are in Pinterest. All right, so the first question that we have to come up with is, what do we know about kendamas? And, you know, what do we know about those toys? Well, they're made of wood and they originate from Japan. So already I see this, <laughs> this little logo here and I'm like, oh, interesting. This could fit in quite well, uh, and we also know, and we also know they have a strong culture, um, and a lot of people in the skate uh, community use them. You know, a lot of people in the urban communities use them. You know, like skateboarding, rollerblading. You know, like those sort of extreme sports. So we're gonna look for brands that look sort of that way. I do want to obviously keep a minimalist look because this is the goal of the video to to show you how to create a minimalist logo. Let's just have a look at current Kendama logos. And this is just to understand, you know, what is currently working, what's not working. So I know Switch Kendamas are quite big. Um, Chrome Kendamas as well, which is just a typography logo. Um, USA, Kendama USA is quite big. The thing is, I don't want to waste too much of your time, so what I'll do, I'll speed up the video a little bit and then I'll explain what I chose and why I chose it. There we go. And this is our sort of mood board that we're gonna go off. I think this is a good starting point. Right, and what I'm gonna do next, it's... Um, Take a few seconds and sort of like look at this and, you know, just sketch something really quick. Just some quick ideas um, just to see what I find the most interesting. And I'm going to do that on my tablet. Right, so what I want to do now is just sort of browse some ideas. Um, let my hand go free. Um, I've got the mood board in front of me on the screen here and I'm just gonna, you know, freestyle, just see where it goes and I'll talk through it and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, right, so the first thing that I want to do is just sort of write out the name, you know, kind, Dama, and just try out a few different things. Um, I'm just playing around with the idea of having it in a circle, you know, and having this line across, and then the the text kind of follows the line. But I've seen this idea around a bit too many times, but it's a it's an idea. And then here I was playing around with having the kendama. you know, almost cut a shape, you know, using negative space into the K and then having the ball sort of suspended in the air 
bit inspired by the um, by a logo that I've seen earlier. So I'm just gonna play around with the idea a little bit more and see where it takes me. I kind of like this idea. It's pretty minimal as well. Yeah, we're going for this. Now that we got our idea down, let's go into Figma and sort of work it out. See how we can uh, put it together and get it all fixed up. So, right now we're, that we're in the software, let's um, you know keep the sketch close because that's obviously what we got the most inspired by. And now let's work on the logo itself you know we got the sketch we got everything that we need now it's just time to build so first of all um let's have a look at a few fonts that we might use i'm also gonna pull up um google fonts here and look for some sans serif fonts let's have a look uh, so first of all i need just literally k and we don't need serif fonts, we literally just need sans serif, maybe, maybe mono space. There we are. Pop ins. Let's have a look at pop ins. Oh, I think we got a winner. This. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the winner. Right, so let's grab this command E just to flatten it and have an actual shape. And now we need to form a little Kendama shape, which is not gonna be too hard to be honest. Uh, boom. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Awesome, now let's grab those two, put them together, turn it around, there we are. Pretty sure it's this one, already. Let's make this a little bigger. There we are. Then make this one shape. Subtract it out of this shape. Make another copy command E just to make it um, command D just to flatten it. And the reason I'm making all these copies is just in case I mess up where I decide I don't like a decision that I made, I can go back and correct myself. It's always good to live alone back way for yourself. There we go, and we got our Kendama logo. Right, I'm gonna duplicate this over and let's find a quick font for it. And the key with this brand is that I don't want it to feel overly cliche, right? I want it to feel quite premium. I wanted to feel like you'd get a good product from it because I think the key with sustainability is not to make it too cliche because I think people would expect a lower quality. Instead, try to feel it premium, to make it feel premium, try to make it feel really high quality and then people will want to buy it anyway and because you're sustaining the planet then that's a plus, you know? Right, so one little adjustment here, I'm just gonna round this corner a little bit we are gonna give those like 0 0.1 just to take all, off the edge a little bit same with those 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 and those give this a 0 0.1 and then if I want to add any color to this I think I will just be adding And there you have a long Kendama brand, you know, sustainable Kendama brand. You could put it on, you could put it on the side of a Kendama like this. 
um, you know, I think it fits the brand a lot. I think it communicates a little bit of that, like luxury, the way you have like on, only the higher case letters and with the large spacing in between. I think it looks really good. I think I would buy it if I would see it. Um, well, anyway, if you like that logo and if you liked, you know, the process and everything, don't forget to smash the like on this video. Smash the like button and leave me a comment with what you would like to see next. And also, you know, if you'd like to see content like this all the time, consider hitting the subscribe button. And on my channel, I do all kinds of live streams, like unedited videos of my processes. Just go have a look. I think you'd find it useful if you're a small business owner that wants to do their own logos or if you're a designer, you know, let's link up, work on a project together. Anyway. Until next time, see you guys around. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.